फोर्स वॉट डू वी डू वेन वी आर आस्क टू ओपन और क्लोज अ डोर टू डू सो वी पुश और पुल द डोर वाल पुलिंग और पुशिंग समथिंग वी अप्लाई द फोर्स ऑन इट कैन यू मूव बुक्स शूज बॉल्स टेबल्स चेयर्स एक्सेट्रा बाय अप्लाइंग फोर्स ऑन देम कैन फोर्स डू समथिंग एल्स बिसाइड्स मूविंग द ऑब्जेक्ट्स लेट अस लर्न हियर व्हाट मोर कैन फोर्स डू अ फोर्स कैन मेक एन ऑब्जेक्ट मूव स्टॉप अ मूविंग ऑब्जेक्ट चेंज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ अ मूविंग ऑब्जेक्ट फोर्स कैन ऑल्सो चेंज द शेप ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट व्हाट हैपन व्हेन यू रोल द क्ले बिटवीन योर हैंड्स could you give it the desired shape to do so you actually applied force to change the shape of the clay so different shapes can be made by applying force on the clay kinds of force there are different types of forces around us some of them are muscular force gravitational force and frictional force when we push a door hit the ball with a bat or kick a ball we use the muscular force whenever something is dropped from the slabs tables or from our hands it always falls down on the ground this is because the earth pulls them down the force that the earth exerts on the objects is called gravitational force or gravity the atmosphere is held around the earth due to gravitational force our earth is revolving around the sun on a fixed path This is possible due to gravitational force between the earth and the sun. Have you ever wondered why the water from the oceans does not spill out in the space? This is also because of the gravitational force. All objects get pulled towards the earth due to gravitational force. The gravitational force is a pulling force. The ball stops moving after some time due to a force called frictional force. The frictional force acts on all moving objects. After rolling for some distance, the ball finally stops due to friction acting on it. Work. When we apply force on an object and the object moves through a distance, it means we have done the work. When you applied force on the table, the table moved and the work was done. When you applied equal force on the cupboard, it did not move. because the force applied was not enough hence no work was done in this case energy why do we eat food every day we eat food because it gives us energy we need energy to do different types of work energy is the ability to do work it is needed to exert force to get the work done can you list some daily activities for which you need energy sources of energy we get energy from various sources such as solar energy from the sun wind energy from wind hydro energy from water etc solar energy the sun is the ultimate source of energy on the earth it gives us energy in the form of heat and light the energy received from the sun is called solar energy Solar energy is used in many ways as for drying clothes, fish, wheat grains, spices etc. Green plants use this energy for making their food. We also use solar cookers for cooking food and solar heaters for getting hot water. Wind energy. The moving air is called wind. The energy possessed by wind is called wind energy. Wind energy is used to move the blades of a windmill. Windmills help in generating electricity and pumping out underground water. Hydro energy. Flowing water has energy in it. The energy of flowing water is called hydro energy. This energy can be used to do work. The flowing water of a river is stored in a dam. when the gates of the dam are opened the water rushes down with great force the energy of the falling water is used to produce electricity in hydro power stations energy conversions energy can be easily changed from one form to another for example 
green plants make their food by trapping the energy of the sun by photosynthesis. Can you recall the materials which plants use to make food? In the process of photosynthesis, the solar energy is converted into chemical energy. When we eat plants or their parts, the chemical energy of food is converted into muscular energy. The solar energy can also be converted into electrical energy with the help of solar cells. Solar cooker and solar heater convert solar energy into heat energy to cook food and provide hot water respectively. Similarly, when a bulb is lighted, the electrical energy gets converted into light energy. Simple machines When we find it difficult to do work with our hands, we use some tools. These tools help us do the work. They are called simple machines. They make our work easier. There are six types of simple machines which help us to do the work easily. They are as follows. Lever A lever is a simple machine which is used to open lids, lift weights and cut things. For example, a nut cracker, a bottle opener, a pair of scissors, pliers, etc. Inclined plane An inclined plane is a ramp used as a simple machine. It can move objects through a distance or lift a heavy box onto a loading truck much easily. Wedge A wedge is actually a kind of inclined plane. For example, an X-blade is a wedge. The edge of an X-blade can be used to push things apart. Screw. The screw is another kind of a simple machine in which the inclined plane is wrapped around a cylinder with a sharp pointed end. A bottle lid with grooves is a screw. Wheel and axle. Wheel and axle makes the movement of objects easier. The rod that connects the wheels of a vehicle is the axle. The axle moves the wheels. Pulley. In a pulley, a cord is wrapped around a wheel. As the wheel rotates, the cord moves in either direction. For example, on a flagpole, a rope is attached to a pulley.